Ooh, hello there, my fellow modders and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And as you might expect, I am lost in the nether. But don't fret, I've got some treasures. That's right, we came here for three wither skulls, and we got them. Look at those beautiful things. And we got some other stuff. We got some gilded blackstone. We've got a lodestone and an ancient debris, our very first one. But unfortunately, we are uh, we are lost, as I said, and I have been trying to find my way out of here for a good hour. <laughs> it has been uh, literally pathetic. And uh, as I was finally making my way out, I found myself another bastion. Now, the question is, should we tackle it or should we try to get our treasures out in one piece? Hmm. I don't know. That gilded stone looks very beautiful. Hmm, what would you do? Would you take the treasures that we have found and try to find our way out? Or would you continue deeper in and try to get more gilded blackstone? What would you do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get some more gilded blackstone. Why is this giving me flashbacks to Star Wars or Phantom Menace? <laughs> Qui-Gon's got his lightsaber sticking through the door and the separatists are... What this can't be? Oh, oh, hello there. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. What? Big belt buckle guy got us. No. Our three wither heads. No, no, no. Why? I'm not going to let this stand. Operation Save the Top Hat is underway. So the general direction was down this hallway, right? And then I went this way with an angle that away <laughs> that's very precise directions let's see if they work out <sighs> wish me luck oh dodging and weaving ghost cats oh my gosh <laughs> oh man i've been in here for for a little while if it is in the general radius it probably despawned <sighs> but i'm gonna keep looking that right there is a stridovator <gasps> oh, 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 oh there's big belt buckle dudes Oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. Oh, oh, my, oh my stuff. Oh my stuff. All right, all right. Well, it's going to be really smart about this. We're going to be real smart. Okay, we're going to check our corners. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, I think we're safe. No, 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 no. Let's get him. Oh, don't despawn. We are like seconds. I have a few. Oh no, 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 no. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big corral. <laughs> oh, I got the hat. I got the hat. It's, it's all that matters. Oh, gosh. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We've got it on. Oh, oh I want to get my cinnamon roll. Oh, I cannot believe we did this. Oh, the odds of getting this stuff were so low. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> let's get our shoes and, well, figure a way out of here. You know, before we go, it wouldn't hurt to maybe, you know, take a peek inside the chest here. I mean, look at all the beautiful gilded stone. And we've got ourselves a Cinnabon and everything. And these are all little things that we could sell in our swag. And like, we're being careful. We're just getting a little bit of gilded stone. Not overdoing it by any means. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, no, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, oh, my God, two hearts. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad there was a window. Oh no, okay, learn from me. Don't be greedy times with Scar. Wow, the gold, everything's shiny. It just allured me for more and more to eventually my utter destruction. <laughs> Let's get out of here for realsies. Oh, feel that beautiful, fresh, clean Hermitcraft air filling up those lungs, relaxing my stresses from being in the nether. Let's go put away all of our treasures and then I've got some stuff to show you that's gonna blow your mind. Welp. The whole reason I went to the nether was to get three wither heads. And of all the stuff that we came out with, they didn't come back with us. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh man, that was all really for naught. Except for the Gilded Blackstone. I'm pretty happy about that. But three wither heads, that, that makes me a bit disappointed. Those poor unfortunate skulls channeled a little bit of Ursula there. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft. It is great to have you back, and it's great to be back in Hermitcraft again. And uh, it's been a little while since our last episode, so on Twitter, I usually try to keep you guys up to date if there's any health-related uh, interruptions in videos. And I really appreciate all the support on Twitter for when some of these things do happen, and I appreciate that very, very much. But don't worry, I've been still working and thinking about ideas while I've been recovering. And one thing I've been doing is a little bit of 
off-camera breeding and we've got ourselves a fully fledged temporary uh trading haul here and it is it is amazing because today we're gonna give these guys a proper home and it's gonna be a one episode build mega build extravaganza we've got some amazing builds planned but anyway we've got the monopoly men here we got the double d doors we've got the farmers and the masons in the back and the purple coats also and uh, we've got a really good system that Grian showed me for trading so the standard trade here emerald for glass then you convert it into panes go over to the monopoly man and for one emerald you can get wait no for one pain dyslexia that up one pain for one emerald and you can just start rolling in emeralds we've also got our farmers all set up here so one pumpkin for an emerald along with one pumpkin for three carrots now as for the trades these guys are loaded one emerald for a mending book i think this guy over here has yeah <laughs> one emerald for efficiency five and you think that's it no 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 we've got an entire holding cell of dumbledee doors back here all ready to go with every trade imaginable and if we head into the transfiguration hall where i take my unexpecting villagers to be transformed into zombies we've got our masons here in the back so these guys are all set up and are ready to roll and of course there is our double d doors and our purple coats are here in the back and some overflow of our monopoly men so yeah, it's uh, quite the system down here. It's a patented SCAR system. It's very inefficient, as one would expect from a SCAR patented uh, redstone or game mechanic machine. So uh, yeah, this is what I've been working on. <laughs> It helped pass the time as I was recovering. One thing I love about Hermitcraft is it never sleeps. Look at the Bodum Village since we were last here. We've got Green's competitor train behind us. It's still amazing, but it's a competitor. <laughs> we got Mumbo Mountain and we got Impulse below us drawing black lines all over the ground. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding he is working on a most epic of factories below and it's just always such an inspiration to see all the incredible things the hermits are coming up with but you might be wondering scar what do you have planned for us today and well as i said we're gonna work on a mega build if i've ever seen one of a one episode build and that is gonna be our villager trading wagon and it should be the tallest of the wagons which is gonna be really really cool excuse me what are you doing why are you pushing me <laughs> that is the rudest pig i have ever seen in minecraft he just pushed me out of the way <laughs> but anyway guys we're gonna need a whole, whole lot of resources to make this wagon become a reality and i'm quite excited about it sit back relax and enjoy some building is all i've been dreaming of for a long time so Let's start grabbing up them resources. We're gonna need a whole lot of blackstone. And I really don't wanna go back to the nether. It is the darnest thing that I keep hearing firework rockets and there's nobody around here but impulse. I Every five seconds I hear a, a, another firework rocket go off. It is super weird. See, did you hear that? Seriously, there's another one. What in the world? <laughs> there's nobody around here. <laughs> Like, I, I keep looking, like, in all the little windows, like, I don't know if there is some kind of- oh, 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 What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's a Tangle plushie, but oh my gosh, I the fear just went through me. I, th I had a flashback to my childhood. There's another firework, by the way. I, I, I thought that was that scary doll, you know, the scary doll of the horror film variety? Kind of had a similar color palette, and it's a small doll next to my bed. <laughs> but it's just a cute Tango plushie. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if that's the cause of the fireworks. I'm really confused. I'm really stressed out. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? That is actually slightly terrifying there, Wandering Trader. Wow. Why is everything trying to jump scare me today? You've got some decent trades. But I've got a mystery to solve first. Scarlock Holmes here looking for the origin of these sounds. Now, I have heard an additional sound. It sounds like a wind chime and a chicken. Listen, do you hear the chicken? Whoa, you can hear it. You heard it, right? It was like a wind chime. And it sounds like it is coming from the bottom here. But of course, there's no bottom so i don't know where else it could be like i've, I've literally chopped up the ground <laughs> found it <laughs> what is this well hello there what 
<laughs> Look at the little pizza. <laughs> There's just something about a chicken's feet that's slightly more funny than a creeper's toes. Anyway, oh, can you walk over this, please? Can can you stand here, please? I won't turn you into chicken nuggets if you stand on the thing. Okay, I'm going to turn you into chicken nuggets. All right, now I'll just test it with like this. Whoa, that was amazing. One more time. Who did this? This is amazing. Can I have like a button for this? This is the most soothing thing I've had heard in a long time. <laughs> oh man, I loved it. One more time. Oh, I like that. That's like getting like a lot of XP bottles at once in a video game. That's amazing. I don't think I could have been any well dressed for a mystery on the scale of Scarlock Holmes. <laughs> I'm still curious what happened here. Why? Why is this happening? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I turned my cam. Oh, my camera's messed up. Oh, oh, this is like the tilt a wheel of brains. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. I think I fixed it. Nope. Broken. Oh, there we are. I'm back. Hello. I'm so sorry. Did I make anyone dizzy? I apologize. I made myself dizzy if that's any consolation. Ah, <sighs> today is going really, really well. <laughs> Deep breaths, deep breaths. All right, guys, now that the mystery is solved, it's time to turn our attention to our villagers and to give them a proper home and place to work. So, as I said, my little villagers are like my Oompa Loompas, um, and uh, we're going to treat them well. We're going to treat them well by building a just massive, cool building for them. So, as I said before, it's kind of like a hotel transformed into a swagon, transformed into a factory. It is going to be really really cool so i've got the materials all together so my friends let's jump into super fast build mode and build ourselves another swagon super fast build mode and I just died by a creeper but that's not the whole story I have uh, had a few incidents with a zombie that has stolen oh <laughs> I see a little I see a little pixel there he has stolen all my this is my life right here this is my life now in hermitcraft I'm constantly dying and having mobs steal my things especially my hat I'd like my hat to stay on my head <laughs> I'd like my, my uh, hat to stay on my head. But seriously, Creeper blew me up. I come back over here to get my stuff, and I'm like, oh, man, that's a big hole. And then Big Papa Bear here just comes out of no... No! No, 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 no. You are not going to play those games again. No. That just went right through his face. Did you see that? <laughs> that went right through his face. Ah... <sighs> Don't touch my hat. With the top hat firmly back on my head where it belongs, time to take a look at our massive build we have completed here. And I'm super proud of this build. Was able to take a lot of time to polish and add lots of fun little details while I was sick. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with it. So the theme of it is I'm getting ready to go to new continents for new possibilities, part of the Tycoon storyline. My Oompa Loompas, which are the villagers, they, uh, they want to come along, so uh, they... Uh, uh, borrowed that's right they borrowed someone's hotel put it on a wagon chassis added some kind of mechanical factory gizmos on the outside and uh, came along with me there there is a hotel owner 
looking for his hotel right now. <laughs> But yeah, look at all the detail up there. We got the windows there. We've got the, uh, the ledges. Now you'll see that the wheels and the chassis of the wagon are relatively similar to the other wagons. And that's by design so that all of the wagons feel like they're all part of the same universe, but are all unique in their own ways. Oh, come on. Why is everything freaking me out today? <laughs> you almost looked at Enderman's eyes. And you know and I know that would have been disastrous. Safely atop a hot air balloon. Take a look at all the detail with our Emerald Hotel. We got the emeralds on the back. We got shipping containers on the front. Piping going up the wall. And you can see that it is also hooked up to the other wagons there. Now, the landscaping needs a little bit of work. As you can see, it's pretty bland. So we need to start adding tire tracks, fallen trees. And if you have any other ideas for landscaping, landscaping definitely let me know and uh, we got a lot of room down here for some fun and interesting details now for the interior that is where things become less interesting because well we haven't had a chance to get in here yet but it's a very simple straightforward interior and i think we have a lot of room to make the villagers have some interesting places to live here and of course we got a cool little loading dock in the back some weird canisters and uh yeah this was so so much fun to build and yeah, I really hope you guys liked it. Well, hello there, silly gooses. I've got a question for you. When you view this landscape here, do you see anything mysterious or something that is unlike any other or maybe shouldn't be there? <laughs> yeah, just take a moment here. You know, take all the time you need. Pause the video if you have to, but just look around, see all the cracks and corners and shadows and try to find something mysterious or different that uh, shouldn't be here. And if you have a keen eye, you'll notice the tag <laughs> that is right <laughs> i can't believe it so i'm riding the best horse on the server that's right i said it the best horse on the server here spankers and uh i just wheeled by here and saw the corner of my eye the most unnatural purple in the entire game the dragon egg a purple unlike any other purple in the game and uh yeah we found it again for the what third time <laughs> This time, totally unexpected. It's actually a great hiding spot, but I've got a really, really good eye for something that stands out that shouldn't be there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we found it. So we're going to come back here in a minute, grab that, and then, of course, find somewhere in our base, which, hmm, I can't believe we found that. That is absolutely insane. But our next project today is the Swagon version two. That is right. The version two is going to be the Swagon that hermits unexpectedly encounter throughout the world. So this is version one. We need to start thinking about what version two is going to look like and then finding a location in the world for it to be and then eventually move to the next and also what we're going to sell in it. Hmm, we got a lot to think about. I present to you Swagon 2.0. That is right. We got the Swagon rolling and I'm loving it. It is dual chest here. So I think that is super cool. Got its little cockpit chair there. And I think it's about three or four blocks longer than the other one. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased with this. And I think over time, we'll just continue to evolve the Swagon. And just get it bigger and bigger and better. So... Yeah, what we need to do now is actually find somewhere on the world to build this in. Bulk items is what we're selling, but a place that's high trafficked is the key. So I'm off to find a place for the Swagon, and I came up with an idea. What if we potentially put the Swagon, like, it may be in front of the passing gas, right? We, like, put it over here, and by the time the passing gassers find it, we've moved it to the next spot. That could be an idea, but I'm gonna go around and look for choke points in the road where multiple different um, you know, pathways meet. That could be another really good spot. So, hmm, you know, an area by Jim would be a good spot because I believe she is in the center of the map. Oh, this is a perfect location for it. I think we're gonna put it maybe right here or even up on this little peninsula. Now, this spot down here looks a little bit crowded with all the beautiful terraforming that I don't want to mess with. Oh, this could be a spot right there, too. Oh, there's so many opportunities. You know, I really want to roll a swagon into Jim's base soon because I want to get a IOU for a tree, which I think could be really, really awesome for our treasure wall. But uh, OK, OK, let's um, hmm, 
We got a lot of choices on where to put it. My friends, the Swagon has arrived here in the center of the map. And I think this is going to be a perfect spot right here. I mean, look at the Swagon. It looks amazing parked here. Now, I put up this little banner here that says sales. <laughs> it was supposed to be steampunk, but it turned into like 60s sci-fi retro. <laughs> I love that. I want to make a base design like that. It's amazing. Anyway, so we've got the swag in here. I made a couple small modifications on it just to change it up a little bit. Um, but we got welcome to the swag. And any item in a shulker box comes with a box for free, which is amazing. Now, inside the box here, we've got terracotta, an entire shulker box full of it for 15 diamonds. Too much? Too little? In the comments, help me figure out a good pricing structure. I never know how to price things in Minecraft. I'm, I either are too high or too low. Never seem to find a sweet spot. Anyway, Azalea leaves 25 diamonds. I mean, I'd buy that because that's impossible to mine sometimes. Um, and then we got gravel for 15, uh, grass and dirt for 5, and 15 for diamonds. And of course, as I said, all those come with the shulker box. And some miscellaneous items. We've got some quartz ore here for 5 diamonds for each one of those we got some powdered snow here we have uh, pistons redstone repeaters um, comparators bone blocks and shulker boxes and uh, here are some of the prices now i have put some signs along the way here to get people excited about it so we got some signs down there what is this one stop by today and save at the swagon well i think i will so yeah i'm uh, i'm super excited for the hermits to find the swagon here <laughs> It's like right in the middle of all of this activity here. So I think it's going to be a good spot for the first one. And of course, um, this will only stay for like a couple days at best. And it'll move on to another area of the server. It'll be constantly rolling around with new and better deals. So yeah. I'm uh, super happy with this. So good to get the mobile swagon out there. And as the sun here sets over our one episode mega build that I can't believe we got it all built in one episode. I'm super, super proud of it. I hope you guys like it. And it was a lot of fun to think about standardized Minecraft things like a villager trading hall and try to add personality and details to it to try to bring it to life. And hopefully we did that. You're the final judge of it, but uh, I definitely tried. And you know, with the emeralds on the back and the cargo containers in the front. And once we get that interior rolling, this thing is going to be absolutely amazing. So hopefully it inspired you. That is definitely the goal. Now, the interior, that always is a bit of a challenge, but it is a fairly straightforward interior, so it should work out. Now, quick question for you, our villagers. What should we name them? In the comments or on Twitter, let me know. They're kind of like my Oompa Loompas, so something along those lines. Um, help me come up with a name. And once again, thank you so, so much for always being there for me. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Whenever I'm sick, I always know you guys are out there waiting for a new video, and that helps me get through it. So. Until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos, and if you believe the video is already rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life.